My name is Lauren Klaus. I am the Women's Shelter Director here at the Winchester Rescue Mission. The mission is uh, really, I think, vital for, for multiple reasons, not only for the individuals that we have that are, are residents with us, but also for the community. Um, so we can provide housing for up to about 32 men at our men's shelter and currently about six ladies at our uh, current ladies shelter. It's important because we can keep people off of the streets and we can provide a bed to sleep in. We offer different food services. We provide dinner every night at the men's mission. So we're feeding um, not only our residents, but like I said, some of um, our families and um, other people from the community can come in and join us for dinner every night at the mission. Something that I've really loved being a part of too is also what we call our food distribution. And so f families, we, we get a whole lot of families that come in um, and we can provide food for them. I think stereotypically we think that homeless people that are um, homeless are in the situation that they're in because they're lazy, because they're bums, and because they're addicts. Often what we've, what we've come to find out is that a large part of it stems from mental illness and what, there's a lack of resources and I think an overall lack of education about what is needed to help these individuals. There's a whole lot of things that can go into it um, and what we found out is there's no cookie cutter um, individual so there's not particularly one thing, it's often just a, a cluster of um, of reasons why somebody might be experiencing homelessness. We don't say somebody is homeless. We don't say a homeless person. Just because somebody is in a current situation that they may be in, it doesn't mean that that is their identity. It just means that they're currently experiencing that. Saying, you're currently experiencing this, how can we help is the best first step to take to get out of that situation. Um, so all of the ladies that come in to the Winchester Rescue Mission are partnered with a volunteer case manager and what they help them do um, is they kind of create a needs assessment. Uh, it could include um, physical health needs, mental health needs, spiritual needs, job placement, and kind of what their end goal is. And somebody that's experiencing homelessness, this is not the end game for them. Um, we want to see them successful and um, essentially be out and productive on their own. And so creating this environment where they do have a support system and a support network to get out of their current situation is something really special that we do here. The intake to exit strategy, again, that's, that's the paperwork. Get some background on um, their history, um, where, where they've lived, where they want to be, um, and just kind of dive into that. And from that, what we do is ultimately we try to create an exit strategy from that. That's sitting down with one of our case managers, sitting down with the other staff, Devin and Brandon, coming up with um, what we think would best help them, getting them connected with the Sinclair Health Clinic, with literacy volunteers, with other organizations, Northwestern um, Community Services, whatever that may look like, um, getting them connected with those resources, getting, making sure that they go to their doctor's appointments, they go meet counselors, whether they go to AA or NA, whatever that may look like, we get them set up with that and we continue that support until they leave the rescue mission. Somebody experiencing chronic homelessness can take anywhere from, on average, 18 to 24 months to go from experiencing homelessness to being successful and essentially on their own. There's a much larger need out there than I honestly think we, we know of. Um, in the Winchester and Frederick County area, there's not a whole lot of resources for individuals. So right now, like I said, we can help about 32 men at our men's shelter, at our men's mission and we can help about six ladies here at our ladies shelter. We're getting ready to open another um, ladies shelter where we can house hopefully between 14 and 16 ladies, but that's 32 men and 16 ladies and there's a much larger population out there that I know that we can help. Right now, there's just not enough resources to help everybody that we would like to help. I'll just come out and say it, uh, financial resources is probably um, the biggest um, the biggest component of that, um, but also having having the support of the city and of other nonprofits and um, organizations realizing that there is this issue and it needs to be tackled and we cannot do it alone and no one organization by themselves can do it alone. So coming together as a community, realizing that this is an issue, figuring out how to tackle it and then actually putting it into action. But again, I mean, we've had astronomical support from our volunteers, from other donors, um, and from the city. And so just, I think, continuing to see that to grow is, is definitely a need um, to make that 
to make this dream of ending homelessness in the northern Shenandoah Valley happen.